Hello, contestants. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more convincing than that to make me want to stay. When does the contest start? No, 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 no! <sighs> you good? <sighs> I think so. I, I don't know, actually. I don't understand anything about what's going on. I really think I'm gonna fall soon. I couldn't care less at this point if I win or not. If I get eliminated, that just means I can get back to my life. I just really don't want to die right now. Yeah, same. Where do you live, by the way? Bridgeport. What about you? I'm in the, uh, Bay Area. Bay Area? San Francisco. Gotcha. Oh man, this really might be it. Backpack! Backpack! Are you alright? Need some help? Please. Uncomfortable. Don't worry, I'll get used to it. Besides, I'm just glad I'm not dead at this point. I can't even imagine dying in a place like this. I still can't believe he's dragging more people in here to do this competition. I just want to go home. Backpack, what happened? <sighs> Don't worry about it, I just tripped. Right, but you tripped on the pull. Yeah, I know. It's fine though, we can just wait until next round. Okay, let's do this stupid challenge. Soda bot. Let him sleep. He needs it. Did you see what Aria was doing with that circle guy earlier? That he wouldn't let him leave? I don't think that's any different from what he's doing with us. He couldn't even let him take a step before he just... He didn't even say a word. At least with us, he let us walk away. Have we even tried walking away? Are you guys not doing the challenge again? Oh, never mind. Texty made it to the ch And Texty wins immunity for their team. <sighs> Nothing. What? What is? And his face fell onto the baby right- And Text contact lens won immunity for his team. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, sorry I didn't say anything. We didn't know he was gonna do that. If it makes you feel any better, the text box did the challenge for us, so we're staying too. I mean, he did save Soda Bottle's life, so I doubt it's anything sinister. Besides, there's always next time. You did say that last time. I'm just trying to be optimistic, okay? I think optimism is the least of our worries right now. <sighs> no, backpack's right. Hey, challenge is about to start. I don't care. Just make sure Stone doesn't do anything weird. Two, one, go. That leaves backpack and if neither of you are going to do the competition this time, I guess I'll put both of you up for elimination. Yes! I thought it would work! <laughs> I thought by showing how happy I was, the viewers would vote for me, but I guess not! <laughs> Senti. We probably should have told you this when it happened. Your next challenge is to stay afloat in this pool of water. The first team to have a member think- Help me get the cast off. We'll be right out for- Ari! 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 Stop! Ari! Ari! Don't go yet! Go. Ari! Backpack! 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 Talk to us! What happened? Backpack! 
that I drove home, went to bed, and next thing I knew I ended up here. I was riding home on my bike when it happened. You said you saw a guy in there? Yeah. Was there anything else there? I was sitting in an armchair against a wall that spanned infinitely in every direction. I couldn't tell where the horizon began and the ground ended. What was the other guy doing? He was also sitting in an armchair, and there was a small table separating us. The guy was flipping through stations on a radio, but they were all static. Do you know why? No. No, I don't. Since we're both up for elimination, you realize this is probably going to be the last time we ever talk to each other, right? I haven't really thought about it very much. It's been a while since I haven't felt completely scatterbrained. I keep thinking about how life really isn't going to be the same after this. I don't think we really like to think about it. Did you ever notice how all the grass here is pointing towards the sun? Soda bottle? Soda bottle, it's me, Backpack. I finally read the notes Stone gave me, and one of them let me hear. I need your help to figure these out. I don't know what any of these mean, but you might know some of these. It's got these long strings of numbers, there's a few drawings. I've been trying to think about what they could mean on the way here. Would you happen to know at all what these mean? One of them's got a five on it, another's got a smokestack. I know there's a smokestack here in Bridgeport. Do you know anything about that? Soda Bottle, I know you're listening. I know it's been a long time since you were on the plane, but we need to figure this out. I have a feeling these could help us try and stop Aerie from continuing the show, but I won't know without your help. Look, I don't know what to tell you. I came all the way here to see you. You could at least spare me from standing in front of your door forever. Soda Bottle, I... I don't have anywhere else to go. I lost my job, and the whole world thinks I'm dead. Aren't you at least the smallest bit upset about what happened? About what he did to you? I don't even know if these notes mean anything, or if finding out would even help us, but it's worth trying. Right? I shouldn't have come here. I thought we were friends. Did nothing on the plane that happened matter to you? I get that you wouldn't want to think about it, but I still exist. Aries still exists. Do you really not care enough to keep this from happening to other people? We were taken to the plane on February 10th, and just last week was the first day I got out. On the way here, I did the math. I was on the plane for 224 days, soda bottle. I know you were affected by what happened, and I don't discount that at all. But trust me when I say it, I've gotten it much worse. These notes, these notes are the only chance I have to come close to making Aerie pay for what he did. I cannot live the rest of my life without knowing what or why this happened. 
If you were maimed and tortured by the hands of someone else, wouldn't you want to do something about it? Worst part is, he just left. Yeah, after you were eliminated, he just dipped for seven months and left us there with nothing. And for you to be totally complicit takes me off. You saw me die. You saw me drown in that pool and you were there afterwards to comfort me. Where is that soda bottle? Do you just not care anymore? You seriously want to live your life forgetting that some sociopath sent us all to an inescapable planet with living text boxes and shape-shifting triangle people from a different world. I'll give you time to think. Either way, you're gonna have to come out at some point. Is she still there? <laughs> what? Is she still there? Yeah. She helped us keep going after Ari disappeared, and... I'm going to get my mail. Stay here and make sure the eggs don't burn. Okay. Um... Thanks. Sorry for standing in front of your door all night, by the way. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the smoothest way you could have handled that. The only reason I let you in is because I have work in 10 minutes and I can't be trapped in my apartment the whole time. Man, you really are a mess. Remind me why you're here again? Stone had your address on one of these notes. I don't know what the rest of these mean, but I was hoping you might be able to help out. You're from San Francisco, right? Yeah. You flew all the way over here because of this? I didn't have the money for a plane ride, so I hitchhiked here. It took about a week. Well, uh, I recognize the last name Silva. There's a picture of a laptop here. Maybe he knows something about it. I'll write down his address and you can go ask him. Wait, you're not coming with? I have work. I open the restaurant at 7, and it's not going to manage itself. Right. When you leave, be sure to lock the door, and please don't lose. Hey, Kylie. What? Are you... <sighs> Alright. Does he have it covered? Okay. Okay, I'll call you back. Thanks. What's going on? Health inspector shut us down for the week because someone turned the freezers off overnight. Do you still need to go to work? Soda bottle? Please don't call me that anymore. You know I have a name, right? You never told me. Bryce. Liam. How much are you looking to sell for? Let's see what's up with this computer. <sighs> well, that was useless. Hold on, let me keep trying some things. Just give it up already. I'm still looking through- Give it up! The notes got us nowhere. Don't say that. We could have just gotten the wrong laptop. 
or looked at them in the wrong order. I didn't want to say anything when you got here, but these notes aren't going to lead us on a wild goose chase to find Airy. Let's be realistic about this. How could these notes- What about this situation is realistic to you? Do you think one was some sort of dream? I don't think it was a dream, but it's fair to say I don't want it on my conscience right now. For once, my Did life- you just pinch yourself? My life is actually going how I want it to! I'm not gonna jeopardize my livelihood for the sake of some scraps of paper! You can do whatever you want with these, but I don't want a part of this. What about Senti? What about her? What about her? Before you let me in, you asked if Senti was still there, and I told you yes. So I guess you just don't care about her anymore? You didn't care to bring her up yourself the entire time you were standing in front of my door, so why are you here? I can list a thousand different reasons why I'm here. I've got enough on my mind already. You know these notes are real. You just don't want to throw your comfortable life away for this. You're right. I don't. Not even for the life of another person? Not until I'm convinced without a shred of a doubt that these notes actually mean something beyond cryptic instruction. This computer isn't enough? Me traveling across the country to your exact address isn't enough? What else needs to be proof for you to care about this? <laughs> This thing hasn't been charged in forever. Tell us everything that happened. Wait a second. Are there... other living text boxes... here? Not any that I know of, but I've always had a feeling that I'm not the only one. So... inanimate objects could be living here too. Hiding from... I would assume so. Keep going. This website has information on all the contestants that were on the plane, but this could help us out. It even has info on the other batches of contestants. Season 2. What? Look, right next to the batch, it says Season 2. I guess I never noticed this. We weren't the first. One of the original contestants lives in New York City. It's only about an hour and a half drive from here. Bryce? Are you implying that we actually try and find this guy? Yeah, why not? Liam, this is New York City. Finding one guy among 8 million people is like winning the lottery. I don't think it's worth- It says here that he's homeless. If that's still true, he's almost certainly at a homeless shelter. Come on, man. There has to be at least a hundred of those shelters in New York. Even if our odds were slim, this could be vital information we're neglecting. We check every homeless shelter we can. If he's not there, we come back. That sounds reasonable to me. <sighs> Fine, let's go. Not this one. Or this one. Or this one. Wait, is that him over there? Hey, are you Oscar? We're not here to kick you out. We just want to ask you some things. We have a very particular issue, and we think you might have some information about it. Do you recognize the name Ari at all? Were you in any way involved in a mysterious competition with the selection of others? Everything was very geometric, and the host was an invisible voice named Ari. Uh, one of them was a roll of toothpaste. That wasn't- Do you happen to remember anything else that happened in the dream? Well, geez, I had that- dream at least a decade ago now, I, I hardly remembered it when you brought it up. I remember there was a button girl, and uh, I remember seeing a bunch of big sticks, and before I knew it I woke up. And uh, yeah, that's about it, sorry. You realize everything you just described actually- One last question, if you don't mind. Would you happen to know what any of these mean? Liam, give me the notes. Hmm, no clue. I wish I could help out, but these mean nothing to me. By the way, why are you guys asking me all this stuff? 
We're doing a study on the commonality of dreams. Competition dreams seem to be an outlier in our research. Thanks for participating. It was 50 bucks. Oh, thanks, man. What the heck was that about? You heard him. It happened over a decade ago. It would take way too long to convince him it was real. Even so, he hardly remembered any of it. <sighs> we didn't gain any new information from that. Where do we even go from here? How do these numbers mean anything? No code. It definitely has to be about the radio. Why though? What else can you think of that has a sequence of numbers followed by a single decimal point? The only thing that I saw after I drowned was a few chairs, a table, and a guy flipping through stations on a radio. Maybe these numbers mean something with that radio. I guess so. Why is it so many numbers though? Aren't radio stations only a few numbers long? Not all radio stations even use decimals. That's a good point. But I still have a strong feeling that's what it represents. I don't know. It's not like you can go back there and try it anyways. I mean, the only way I know how to get there is by... No. Yeah, no. <sighs> so much for that trailhead. Looks like rain clouds are coming in. Can you check what the weather looks like tonight? Yeah. Orok seems to be a chilly 46. Same in Bridgeport. Expecting some hard precipitation later tonight. Should last anywhere from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. around the Bridgeport area. Wait a second. Bryce, look at this. What about it? This is our next place to go. There's an arrow at the top right here. If we go over there while it's raining, we might get a new lead. You're suggesting we climb to the top of that smokestack in the middle of the night in the pouring rain. Looks like that's every part of it. The moon, rain clouds, smokestack. Everything lines up. You can drive us too, right? Liam, is this some sort of adventure to you? What? You're passively telling me that you think it's in our best interest to illegally scale a power plant fuel duct because you think these notes are suggesting this is the best thing we do. Do you have any better ideas? <laughs> I don't. So why don't we- Because it's illegal, and it's dangerous, and it's just about one of the dumbest things you could possibly do. Everything these notes have suggested have been true so far, why would we stop here? I just said why. A garage sale is fine. Hopping across New York to find a homeless guy for a situation like this, it's fine. This, this right here is where I draw the line. Could you at least- Drive me there so I can do it myself? What? No! I'm not going to be your getaway driver! <sighs> I want to stop Ari. I want to save Senti, but we're not doing it this way. I want to keep looking into this, but not if we have to break the law to do it. Tomorrow, we can keep looking. Today's been long enough. Um, can I- Yes, you can sleep here tonight. Tomorrow, you also find your own place to stay. is your problem? No, this has gone too far. You are not going to do this. What do I have to lose? Huh? 
My life was great before this all happened, and Aerie has taken everything from me! I can't sit back and miss what could be my only shot at stopping this from happening to anyone else. You're telling me your life wasn't completely ruined after what you experienced? No, Liam! My life was miserable before this competition. Now that it's over, I actually have an incentive to do something with my life. I've worked too hard now to throw it away a second time. I don't want to be a part of this, and I never wanted to. Not even for Senti. Don't talk to me about Senti. You're doing this for yourself, Liam, and you know that. You just can't move on with your life, can you? Were you there for seven months? Seven months in a barren wasteland stripped of everything that gave you a purpose in life? I'm dead to this world, Soda Bottle. Don't you get it? Liam! Liam. Don't. Don't do it. Liam! Hop over. No. I want my car keys back. Bryce! Bryce? Where am I? This is where I went after I drowned. I think the lightning struck us both dead. Oh. Come look over here! This is the radio I was talking about. Now that we're here, we can actually test if these notes work. You came to my parents' house after you died? What? No, this is what I saw. Ah, I still have the laptop. Are you here too, Texty? I'm sure it's fine. Let's find those notes. No, wait, here they are. I really think I should go. No, 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 wait! Look! Look at the numbers here. What happens if I turn the knob? <laughs> this has to be it! Maybe we can hear Stone through this if we put it to this frequency. Stone can't speak? Is that a five or a six? Okay, I think this is it. It's kind of hard to hear. What if I adjusted the antenna? Was a six? Bryce, come on! I think I have the correct one this time. Can I check it this time? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's try this again. I can't have you- Are these your friends? Uh, no sir, I don't know these guys. God. They just- Take these three gentlemen to the scooping room. No, not the scooping room! What? Let go of me! What the what heck is, is going on?! <sighs> I forgot the two.
two, seven, seven, nine, nine, four, four, three, three, five, five, dot, dot, one, one. Okay, you're absolutely sure you didn't skip any. Yes. You don't see any numbers you could possibly mistake for another? No. I don't hear anything. Bryce, we checked this like seven times. This has to be it. I can't see anything. I have a flashlight. Also, what the heck is this place? This is where Stone is, I guess. Let me see. We'll never find him. Stone! He wouldn't have been so panicked to make the notes if he knew it wasn't the last time we saw him. So why did he lead us here? The better question is, how are we getting out of here? Uh... Wait, guys. I just found something. Where? On the website. Each of the players has a kill command connected to them in the website's code. If I type out your names and mine, I think we could all be sent back to the puppy room. The puppy room? Yeah, where the radio is. Are you somehow referring to the neighborhood I grew up in? Let's just go back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Entering the command in 3, 2, 1. Whoops. Going back in 3, 2, one. Oh wow, it actually worked. Liam? We did all that for nothing. What? No we didn't. We were killed 20 times over and didn't find anything about stone. What are you talking about? We... We still have these! You're suggesting we still don't have the information to figure this out? We still have three more notes we haven't solved. What? I'm not in the suburbs anymore. Let's figure these out. We should probably see what this place is before we go to Aerie. What does SF even stand for? 10% battery warning. Aw oh, man. Could it be... San Francisco? We could... go back to Earth? If this really means San Francisco, can we please get me a charger before anything crazy happens? Let's do it. Double check it. Looks good. This better work. <sighs> We're back on Earth. I'm starting to think we would never get back here again. Do you have a house or something we could... Oh, right. Let's get the charger. Yeah, let's yeah, okay. do that. That'll be twelve ninety nine. I got a job abroad. I'm managing telemarketing stuff over in Australia, and now that I have a break, I thought about coming back here. We should hang out again. I want to hear about your trip. Oh yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'm kind of booked with some other stuff right now, but I'd love to hang out again soon. You're booked on your break? Yeah, whatever. You two know each other? Yeah, he was my old co-worker. I've known him pretty much since college. I'm remembering what it's like to have a life again. Yeah, it's pretty nice. As much as I want to figure this thing out, I can't wait to get back to mine. Now that we're back on Earth, you're not gonna flake out last minute, are you? Heh, <laughs> part of me still wants to. The rest of me wants to finally leave this thing to rest. Thanks, by the way. For what? For convincing me to stick this through. I don't know if I could live with myself knowing I left everyone else behind. Even if you bugged the ever-loving crap out of me. It was the right thing to do. No matter what we find past that airy note, I'm ready for it. Thanks, Bryce. I couldn't have done this without you. Here are your waters. A toast to one and all of its contestants. We're coming to save you. We should probably go back at night, so people don't see us disappear in broad daylight. Good point. We should probably find a safe place where no one would find us too. Do you have any ideas? I have an idea of where we can go. 
The best place you could think of is a back alley? This is the place where I first looked at the notes after coming back to Earth. I was there all night, and no one was there. That was the only time he did that. I think that'll work. Are you ready, Texty? Ready whenever you are. After this is finished and we come back to Earth again, promise you'll come visit? I don't know. Australia seems pretty far away. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. All right. Sending us back in three, two, Rice? one. <laughs>